By the way, the more mass is in a black hole, the bigger the black hole becomes. If you run the math on it, it's, it's linear. So a black hole that's twice as massive as another one will be twice the diameter. 10 times as massive, the event horizon, which is our practical definition of the size of the black hole, will be 10 times as long. There's a cool exercise we do in graduate school. You can say, given the mass of the universe, how big would the black hole be that contained this much mass? It's the size of our universe to our horizon. And it's like, wait a minute, could we be one giant black hole? The average density of matter contained within the size of our cosmic horizon matches right on with what you get for a black hole this size. That's intriguing. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Would it mean anyway for us to be inside a black hole? How, how would that work? Well, it turns out if you run the mathematics of Einstein's general theory of relativity into a black hole, it turns out a whole new space-time opens up on the other side. Behind you and the entire future history of the universe unfolds relative to your time frame. And so the universe you came from basically ends and a whole new universe opens up in front of you. Are we that universe that opened up in front of us? Okay, these are mind-bending questions.